Praise the Lord. Today we are going to see on what basis the prayer can be answered because um, we are doing prayer every day for each information, for our request, um, for, our, for our agony and for our um, uh, fulfillment of the promise. Um, so today we are going to see on what basis can prayer be answered. For that we'll take um, Psalms 83, 13. I cry out to the Lord, uh, O Lord, and in the morning my prayer will come into your presence. Um, so the psalm is saying that morning, every morning, he is coming in the presence of God with a prayer. So in the Bible says um, there are daily, in the morning there are, there are people who have prayed, they pray twice daily, thrice daily like that. Daniel, all night they prayed like um, um, Jesus. Um, and the first Thessalonians 5 17 says, We have to pray ceasing, without ceasing. Lame. And moreover, uh, Abraham has a boldness in prayer when he asked about um, the destruction of Sodom and Gomorrah to, um, to save his family, uh, Lothar. Um, and uh, and that's a secret prayer also because uh, um, Isaac has a uh, has, has a habit of praying secretly to God um, and at that time he saw Rebecca who was taken uh, to him uh, by his uh, servant um, and there was silent prayer also it is there in Psalms 5.1 and we called as a weeping prayer as a, Ezra led a weeping prayer because of the condition of the uh, worst condition of the people and there was a loud voice prayer by Elijah when he saw that the people were downtrodden and he wanted God to answer his prayer by the fire to bring the revival. So the, the, in the Bible, we can see different types of prayer, but the receiving of answer to the prayer is based upon having faith without doubt, first one. Second, keeping God's command. Third one, regarding God's will. Fourth one, believing trust him. So if you have these things, in, then you certainly receive a prayer based upon this Four qualities. Um, first of all, um, having faith without doubt. Um, that's what um, James chapter one five to six says. James chapter one five to six says, if any any one of you um, need wisdom to know what you should do. Uh, what you should do, uh, you should ask God and he will give it to you. God is generous to everyone and does not find fault with them. When you ask for something, don't have any doubt. A person who has doubt is like a wave that is blown by the wind and tossed by the sea. A person who has doubts does not expect to receive anything from the Lord. A person who has doubt is thinking about two different things at the same time and cannot make up his mind about anything. So what about this doubt? On uh, one hand, we need him. We have to pray for the wisdom needed to go through the trial. That's very, very important one hand we have to pray on the other hand we should ask god uh, what wisdom he wants us to grant from the trial uh, when we do get through it it, it is um, uh, through it but um, um, the doubter is like a uh, driven by the wind um, it's like a wave driven by the wind they see respond to the external forces why because water has no inner stability to withstand the outer forces um, and this is the perfect description of the doubter because he has no inner stability from his own will he has no stability which is the reason for his unrest um, agitation indecision and so um, he's having two things we have a um, uh, the, the doubter is thinking about two different things at the same time. First, he think about God. Second, he still think think about how he can solve by his self power and self experience. And that person should not get any answer from the Lord. So we should be very careful about our doubtfulness in the prayer. Second one is keeping God's command. By keeping God's command, what will happen? First John three twenty two says, "Dear friends, if our heart do not condemn us, we have confidence before God. Why our heart is not condemning? Because um, um uh, because we keep His commandments and do." what please him so we'll receive from him anything we ask him so if your heart is not come uh, condemn you him condemn you of not obeying the god's law then surely whatever you pray god will certainly answer you because you are keep his commands and do what he pleases him and then regarding god's will and so our, our answer to the prayer depend upon the god's will that's what um first uh, john 5 14 and 15 says first john 5 14 and 15 says um, this is a confidence we have in approaching god that if you ask anything according to his will he hears us and if we know that he hears us whatever we ask you know we know that we'll have what we ask to ask for him so if you uh, pray according to the god's will certainly god will answer him once moses also prayed but that's what god's will that's what he got reputed from the god that is what we are going to see in coming slide then fourth one is believing trust him jesus replied truly i tell you if you have faith and do not do not doubt not only can you do what was done to the fig tree but also you can say to the 
come out and go throw yourself into the sea and it will be done if you believe you will receive whatever you ask for in the prayer so with the believing trust if you pray and then you can move the mountains and uh, and the mountain will command our command will obey your command so whatever may be the hindrance in your life with a great faith with the believing trust you command that the hindrance to remove it will certainly obey you that's what um, jesus is telling if you have even though if you have this four um, uh, basis of a prayer sometimes um, the answer to the prayer may be so different um, maybe the answer to the prayer may be rebuke them if we pray did not, uh, not according to the god's will now sometimes the prayer the answer to the prayer may be withheld them because god knows when to answer the prayer third one an answer to the prayer may be delayed uh, for third one and for fourth one answer to the prayer may be exceeds our petition fifth one answer to the prayer may be different from the request also first of all answer to the prayer may be delayed they may be repeated for example when moses prayed to see the kind and god told take hey, that's enough out of you don't talk to me anything about this so god allowed him to only to him, instruct him to see the uh, see the promised land from the mountain but um, he has to anoint uh, and encourage and strengthen Joshua and instruct Joshua because he is only going to cross the Jordan River and he is going to help the people take possession of the land that's what the thing but um, Moses only have to see the land so he was um, uh, condemned um, when he prayed that he want to see the Canaan second time second the prayer may be answered by answer may answer of the prayer may be withheld that's what happened to the job we don't know how many months or year he was suffering with that um, illness and the loss um, first of all he prayed in job 20 women uh, he, he prayed that um, i oh, call i call to you for help but you don't answer me i stand up but you just look at me without answering my prayer that's what he was agony but after him he said um, have after his trial was over in job 42 to 12 it is said that the uh, lord blessed the latter year of job's life more than the early year he had 40000 sheep and goats so 6000 camels 2000 oxen 1000 donkeys he also had seven sons and three daughters um, so even though if you think that your prayer answer is withheld in god's time he will bless you twice um, so be encouraged um, third is the answer to the prayer may be delayed um, for example um, god is telling that so many times you are praying don't be discouraged always perseverance in prayer because in his time he will certainly answer for that he exact give an example there was a lady widow who was asking the judgment um, from a judge who was an unjust judge but he is not answering her but always he is going and pestering him standing outside the tent and shouting so the unjust judge came to the conclusion see um let us do this justice to the people this is to this lady then she won't come and shout against me so won't god give his chosen people justice when they cry out to him for help day and night is it slow to help you i can guarantee that he will give them justice quickly but when son of man comes will he find faith on earth so don't think that your delayed prayer is not a denied prayer god will in this time will answer your prayer but go on pray perseverance third third one uh, fourth one is the um, answer to the prayer may exceed our petition maybe because god is the one who is answer our prayer and give whatever what we are what we want and whatever uh, more what we want also that's what solomon asked for wisdom he answer his answer includes wisdom riches honor and long life um, and the disciples prayed for peter's um, um, protection but and god answered peter uh, answered their prayer by peter's deliverance by sending the angel so so answer to the prayer may be exceed our petition fourth way fifth way the answer to the petition petition may be different from the request totally different for example mary and martha asked jesus to come and heal their brother but jesus delayed but raised lazarus from the dead that that was john 11 but paul asked that um, thorn in the flesh be removed maybe that is sickness or disease um, but the answer was promise of grace to endure it um, so maybe you have to endure it and promise was given the israelite lust for the uh, flesh part of egypt um, the answer gave them flesh um, but also leanness of soul the soul of soul that soul may be doubt trod and god made it because what they asked is wrong so the answer to the prayer may be different from the request also whatever it may be the your answer answer to the prayer may be different the answer to the prayer may be exceed your petition the answer to the prayer may be delayed the answer to the prayer may be withheld the answer to the prayer may be uh, rebuked because of asking uh, no no away from the will of the lord so always keep in the mind um, whenever you pray you should have faith without doubt um, keep god's command regard god's will and have believing trust and then god will certainly answer a prayer pray for you thank you lord thank you for revealing that how we have to pray and holy answer a prayer lord answer a prayer and then and the blessings in the name of jesus amen god bless you